Right, with 2023 racing round the corner, let's have a look at who's the biggest winners and losers in the off-season in regards to changing group sets. We'll just go alphabetically, most the same, so not much to say. Azure Desert, the same. Albison, the same. Astana, basically the same. Bahrain, again, the same. So nothing too exciting. Bora as well. Cofidis, big upgrade. Large upgrade. Cofidis have gone from De Rosa to Look, which is a custom bike. Very special. Looks really good. And from Campi to Jures. Not a massive difference, um, but everyone reckons Shimano probably is better. Not in terms of fast, like, speed, but more just turns it like, efficiency. EF, the same. Uh, Group Armour, the same. Ineos, the same. Intermarche, look, basically the same. Yumbo Visma, big losers. Like, like, massive losers. And you might say, why? Well, number one, they're on reserve wheels, which I just don't think can be that quick. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. The biggest L is SRAM Red. And you might say, well, Charlie, like most of your issues with SRAM, they won't care about, you know, derailleur doesn't work, no worries. But just the speed of a chain, like it is slower. And I was thinking maybe they'd make a new chain just for racing. Just don't think they will because it costs so much to make a chain. So basically, you're stuck with a really slow chain. So that is pretty sad. So Yumbo have had a, a real rough off season changing to SRAM Red. Uh, just, you know, it's like, it's one of those things where, you know, if everything's so close in World Tour time trials and you're losing a watt, two watts on the chain, I mean, we'll ignore the kind of like other efficiencies with the 10 tooth because let's assume they're going to run a 58 tooth so you never use the 10. Even so, two watts over 40k, I mean, that's nothing. Like that's a minimal, uh, sorry, that's a time gap that is like decent compared to how close all the guys are. So that's a big L. Pretty upsetting if I was a Yumbo, if I was a Yumbo rider. Movistar, the same as uh, Quickstep, are also the same. Arkea have gone to Bianchi's, which is kind of rogue. Uh, compared to Canyon, I'd say probably downgrade. But I reckon there's not a crazy amount in it. I reckon like decent, but not mental. Team DSM are uh, pretty much the same. Everyone else is the same. Trek are now using time pedals. Now, this is very rogue. I'm not going to lie, because time pedals is like like SRAM's obviously pedals, but kind of rogue. And I reckon the biggest winners are UAE. UAE have gone from Canby to Shimano. So probably slightly faster chain, maybe better, like, you know, works better, doesn't drop the chain. Wheels, big upgrade. Envies, they just are rapid, let's be honest. Everyone knows it. Um, uh, my pair, unreal, obviously. Uh, massive bias there. But also tires, they've gone to Continental Tires, which is a pretty decent pretty decent upgrade and i would say they basically got the gold standard okay colnago probably not the fastest you know i reckon there are faster bikes out there for sure than the colnago v4s but i do think in reality like durace and v's continental like they really have picked it up pretty good like i kind of go you know team by team like most of the stuff like bmc's they look nice and like you know obviously tires if you're on vittoria you're gonna lose some watts that's pretty sad I don't know, like, how fast are these Williams? Oh, actually, the only thing I would say, though, is that, like, UAE, big L on the power meters. They're now on Shimano power meters, which we do all know just don't work, uh, unless it's a stages one, which somehow they have managed to work. Um, and the only positive Yumbo have is that they will have a power meter that works because they're now on ETAP, and the Quark actually have power meters that work. This is the new look bike. I'm a big fan of this. I think it's I think it's pretty fit on Michelin tires as well, so pretty iconic Um I think most of these, like a lot of these things literally just don't change. Like, you know, Bahrain are on some pretty decent equipment as well. Like, I think that's the thing these days. I wouldn't say there's a massive difference in a lot of it. It's just like small things like tires um, as well as kind of just like, yeah, tires, maybe pedals, but more like tires and then wheels. And then like, obviously there's the bigger ones like SRAM and stuff, but that's more just SRAM being like silly with their chain um, as well as uh, as well as like the the square chain, it just doesn't really add up. The Cuba got a new bike as well, which looks decent. Uh, Savella, like look at that, it's just ugly. Not ugly actually, I think it's from, but like it kind of is like the square chain. It just it just it just flips me off. Um, not not happy at all. If I was one of them, yeah, the Canyon is is fine. It does the job. I don't think the Canyon is good like in terms of consumers necessarily, but. It is kind of a fast bike. That is a fit setup. I reckon one of the best around. Uh, like, for S-Works, everything is just good stuff. 
Arkea again, kind of a rogue setup, this handlebar. I haven't really talked much about this bike, but I don't know how much, uh, how good it is. It kind of looks like an S5, doesn't it? This very up stem, like surely that's not very aggressive position. Um, but yeah, they're on Juris again, and they're on Conti tires. So like pretty decent setup again. DSM, gold standard, Juris. Oh, I got Vittoria tires. Okay, they're not great. They're a little bit too slow. But the Scots look nice. I feel like that looks a pretty aggressive frame, pretty pretty good uh, all round. Um, obviously, I like, lost some people, like Lotto, Gone and people. So that's kind of changed. But I guess they're not World Tour. So kind of like, that's what I meant. Like, they're not there. Um, Giant, generally good. But then like Kadex tires. I just can't believe they run Kadex tires because they're just terrible. But maybe they do. Um, and then everything else is kind of fine. I actually think their helmet is pretty fit these days as well and so yeah and then the propeller is pretty good track again they got you can see the time pedals kind of rogue like really rogue but again they're on pirellis which i don't think are great i mean poggy was claiming playing he was sliding out in uh slovenia but i don't think pedals are always the biggest of issues like sorry the tires are always the biggest of issues like in terms of speed for pirelli maybe it's just some more grip i've never really ridden them so i, I don't have much to say but uh yeah and then they're on the sram so same same so sram gaining Gaining a team, I guess, in the World Tour, now up to three. And apparently Campagnolo, since they've been binned off by UAE, will be going more aggressively to get teams. And then this is a fit bike, like, okay, except the the Colnago V4S is fit. Like, I would have 100%, but it's just, I'm not 100% sure if it's the fastest one around. But yeah, big upgrade for them on looks as well, and they can kind of choose everything. Apparently, they literally were just like, whose wheels are the fastest with my bike? Envy? Okay, we'll have you as sponsors, because they don't need money. Like, you know, they just need... um the best performing bike. So anyway, hope you did enjoy this quick roundup and I'll see you in the next one.